Understanding the phrase, rule of thumb. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, rule of thumb. This phrase is widely used in various contexts, and understanding its meaning can really enrich your English vocabulary. So, let's dive into what it means and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. The phrase, rule of thumb, has an interesting origin. It dates back to several centuries ago and has various folk etymologies. One popular, albeit controversial, origin story links it to an old law that allowed a man to discipline his wife with a stick no wider than his thumb. However, this origin is often disputed and considered a myth. The phrase more likely originated from craftsmen using their thumbs to make approximate measurements. So, what does rule of thumb mean? Simply put, it refers to a general guideline that is not strictly accurate or reliable for every situation. It's a practical rule based on experience or practice rather than theory. For example, when cooking, you might use a rule of thumb to estimate the amount of an ingredient without using precise measurements. Let's see how rule of thumb is used in sentences. As a rule of thumb, I avoid eating heavy meals before exercising. A good rule of thumb for budgeting is to save at least 20% of your income each month. In photography, the rule of thirds is a rule of thumb that helps create visually pleasing compositions. Using phrases like rule of thumb in your language can make your English sound more natural and fluent. Remember, it's best used in contexts where you're referring to a general guideline or a practical approach rather than a strict rule. It's also a great phrase to use in informal conversations or in situations where you're giving advice based on your personal experience. And that's it for today's lesson on the phrase, rule of thumb. We hope this has been an informative and enjoyable journey through the nuances of English language. Remember, language learning is all about understanding the context and culture behind the phrases. Keep practicing, and don't forget to use rule of thumb in your daily conversations to sound like a native speaker. See you in our next video.